in this video, we'll really show you why range names are so important to include in your toolkit of Excel tricks. Okay, so the file we'll be using is historical invest temp. And the basic trick is with the F3 key, you can paste range names in formula. Okay, so if we want to average stock returns, I could start type, typing average instead of pointing to the data, I could use the F3 key to paste in the range name stocks. And this could be even 500 columns over to the right. So I have to go back and forth to point to my data. Okay, so let's look at the data. We have annual stock returns on stocks, treasury bills, and bonds from 2009. Okay, and I want to name this column stocks, this column treasury bills, and this column bonds. And it's a very common thing to name a column with the heading in the column. Okay, so I'll select the range I'm going to select. Let me just show you in yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go here, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, formulas, create from selection like in the last video, names in top row. Okay, so now if you go to the name box and you click on stocks, it goes highlights this column. So I want to average stock return. So let's do this three ways. And I think you can decide which one you like better. I could type equal average, get the autocomplete, point to the first thing in the stocks, do control shift down arrow, go to the bottom. And it puts in the word stocks there. And if you if you point to that formula, F2 will show that formula. And you see it highlights the range which it's referring to, which is right here. So that's average stocks. Okay, now I could type average instead of pointing, start typing the word stocks. My mem I'm getting old, my memory isn't that good, but it rem Excel remembers the range name, and I could do that. Sorry, let's try that again. Average, F3, so uh, average, start typing stocks, S-T-O, and that'll work. Okay, now let's use the F3 chip trick. Average, hit F3. Your range names pop up. Okay, so if I hit stocks, I can paste in my range name for stocks. My range name for stocks, which is really cool. Also, with the F, and we'll be using that trick throughout our videos, probably 50 to 100 times. Also with the F3 trick, you can paste a list of range names into a cell, into a blank set area. So for example, if I go right here and hit F3, do you see the button paste list? It basically puts a list of range names in your spreadsheet and basically tells you what the range names are and basically what cell they refer to, which is, I think, very, very useful. Okay, that concludes this video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah. 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston. Um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just, uh, please let us know. Thanks.